Some of you guys asked me about virgins in Ukraine. Are there any virgins in Ukraine? <laughs> How important is it to Ukraine women to totally please their man sexually? Hey, to uh, one French Canadian bloke, one Western Canadian bloke, uh, hanging out, having a piva. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. Kiev, Ukraine. Cheers. And we're wondering if you guys are really curious, you know, about Ukrainian women and sex. Are they really uh, sub, you know, subservient to the man's needs? That's the topic of this video. So hang in there if this is a topic that's of interest to you. So what do you think, jean Francis? What do you think about uh, Ukrainian women and sex? Okay, the... You've been here for what, a week and a bit dating two weeks, away? Two weeks now. Uh, but <laughs> you, you oh, God, already have one lady that's... Uh, yes. Invited you to meet the parents, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, the whole the whole sex thing, no. It's uh, this is another litmus test. I mean, if uh, you ain't getting any, <laughs> no, well, I'm not gonna toast that. I'm not getting any. No, no. It's another litmus test. Generally, a good uh, a good Ukrainian woman will not uh, will not be uh, forthcoming on that area for for a while. You know, I haven't even kissed her yet. Yeah, I tried and failed miserably. So yeah. <laughs> Crash, crash, oh, crash but, but, but she was okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> crash and burn. Yeah, guys, so if you think, you know, Ukrainian women are easy to get into the sack, it's a myth. They're very traditional here. And I'm talking a good girl, okay? <laughs> I mean, you can yeah, I find mean, if, that. If you, if you go to a bar, if you go, you know, there are some places like Sky Bar or different places like that. There are some, you know, discos or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you can find a girl who's, who's easy, but I mean, you know, you're not going to get anything serious out of it. So, I mean, you know, if, that, if that's your plan, go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get that anywhere. But uh, if you're meeting a girl on a free dating app or a free dating site, you know, a Tinder, Badoo, or UkraineDate.com or anything like that, you guys need to know that's a toxic pond. It's like a cesspool. Yeah, it you're, is. You're it gonna is. Catch especially, especially here. Especially here. Yeah. yeah, especially here. Because of the economy here, it's so depressed, right? Uh, you got about 80% working poor that are you know, making less than 500 bucks a month. And their the monthly nut is more than that, right? So you got to be very wary of that. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You do. yeah, you absolutely have to be careful, and and you'll see. You know, you know, I I um, not not with much guarantee, but uh, previous experience, you see it. I mean, you get you get offered things, and she's like, yeah, uh, very. It's very very simple. You're here for two weeks, so you know what? For for the for the next two weeks, I can I I'll I'll be your girlfriend for the next two weeks. Uh, you know, just give me, you know, six hundred dollars for the for the for the two weeks, and we'll have fun and uh, enjoy ourselves. Then you know, the the women, the bad women, will offer to be your sugar baby. It, it happens. It's it's sad, you know. And but given the circumstances, as Joe said, it's not surprising because you know, I mean, the average the average rent here in Kiev is five hundred, and they make five hundred. So how do you eat? How do you go out? How do you pay for your bus pass? How do you do stuff? You can't do it. So. Yeah, unfortunately, it's it's an easy path, and sometimes it's a necessary path. I mean, think about it. I mean, if the woman has a young child, and you know the guy dumped her, what's she going to do to put food on the table? It's it's a sad situation. How important is it to Ukraine women to totally please their man sexually? Um, do you have any idea, Jean Francis? I do not have a clue because <laughs> that has not happened to me yet. <laughs> okay, well. I, I have a clue. I have a clue. I can you have more share than a clue. You're married. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's incredible. Whereas in our Western world, you know, we're begging for sex, you know? And, and women, don't they hold it over us uh, as a manipulative tool? Some do. Some do. Not all. Not all yeah. of them, thankfully. Yeah. But some do, yeah, absolutely. I've, I've been, in, uh, been with women who do hold it over you, absolutely. Or if not, uh, you know, since we're really getting into the, the, the weeds, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll say something out loud that I should Hold on, just hold that thought, okay? <laughs> hold that thought. But don't forget, <laughs> uh, I just want to finish the point that while our women hold that over our head and, you know, control us, and not all of them, but a lot of them, these women are completely opposite and they totally take care of their men sexually all sexual needs and they're more adventurous um, 
what what can I say on on public camera? Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> it's amazing. That's all I gotta say. Like you, you got, if you haven't had a relationship with a good Slavic woman, uh, well, I'd say once you've been there, done that, you won't go back. Yeah, one of the big reasons that it's cultural. Ukrainian women take care of their man in every regard, uh, including the bedroom, the kitchen, on the train, in the plane, <laughs> wherever you have a need, you know, because there is a real shortage of quality men in Ukraine. So if you are a quality man, I'm talking to you, right? If you're not, I'm not really talking to you. If you're quality men, then, uh, these women will do everything for you to hold on to you. That's what I'm saying. You were going to say something, Jean Renzis? Yeah, I was going to say, for having been on the other end of it with uh, with women, you know, it's like, uh, it, it's almost like a caricature, you know. I, I remember situations where, you know, it's like, well, you're not going to do, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. Well, okay, why am I bothering with you? And why am I doing this? And why am I doing, you know, it's like, it's almost like mechanical. It's like, well, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. I mean, I, I don't want to get into, but you get me, right? The smart guys, you get me. <laughs> it's like, so annoying. It's like, okay, can, can I just be in the moment? No, no, you can't be in the moment because you have to be doing this, you have to be doing that. So, yeah, so I will be very happy if that is different here. <laughs> <laughs> Once I experienced that. <laughs> it totally is in a big way. What about, some of you guys asked me about fetishes. What about fetishes in Ukraine? My answer is, have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.